Okay, good afternoon everybody. And welcome to our webinar today. Okay, so today we're we're just getting a few technical difficulties with the weather here. Um good afternoon and welcome to our web data and reporting workflows webinar. Um with me today I've got in the room uh Tanya who's coordinating everything and Mark Gordner, business and development executive. So today I'm going to talk about web data and reporting using FME and actually this is a uh, a bit of a Part of the presentation we gave at our FME World Tour 2018 this year in Dublin. So for any of you that don't, who aren't there, this, you get to see it. And also we've made a few each tweaks and changes. So anyone who was there, you see some new new additions as well. So in FME, why would do you need and uh, why would you want analytics in FME? Well, with FME, we can extract data as you need. We can also merge data on the fly. So again, you may be doing reports where you want to bring information from multiple sources. And FME can also do presentation and styling to make your reports look nice, give you a data summary, and also then help make decisions. So the first thing that with 20, the FME 2018, we've enhanced the abilities to read data from the web. And a few of those enhancements are our new um, transformers that have been added. So first off, and the one I want to show you today is the Salesforce connector. So being able to connect to a, an online SaaS solution like Salesforce and be able to bring that data in and query it. We also have the ability now with um, FME, and it's, it, it's, it was in there for, for a year or two, but actually enhanced again for an online connection, and that's for Hadoop, so HDFS, being able to connect to an online Hadoop store in the cloud. So you can now we've got that connector, and we've also got a new connector, which is for ProjectWise, which is the Bentley document management system, so we're able to connect to that as well. Also with FME in FME 2018, we also have the ability to read ArcGIS Online attachments. So you can then extract the data from the attachment and build it into your report. So any attachments that are captured in ArcGIS Online can then be extracted down and used in your reporting on site. So with FME, we have the ability to build data reports. So for a number of years now, we've had FME in Excel, so being able to take data in and, and write it out to, or read it from or write it out to Excel. So before, up onto this, we already had the ability to rename attributes, to do pivots, write out the tables, and then use templates and workbooks so that Excel can use name ranges for formulas. So if you've got a, a workbook that has some calculations built into it, you can leave those calculations in and then target the other cells in the sheet. And you can also tell the FME to target a specific sheet for the values and a specific range. And then you can even do things like uh, attribute formulas on the fly. So really, really useful stuff. And we've been using this for a while, particularly for doing, uh, when we're doing actually data migration or integration work for building reports to tell you how good the uh, uh, export has been or the import. But again, in the 2018 release, we now have the ability to style the data in your Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. So you can see here, based on types, based on groupings, we're able to actually style the colors in the sheet. So again, saving the work for person um, at, at a future stage. Previously, what we would have did was we had to build that styling into the template. But now with FME 2018, you can actually do that on the fly and push the styles out yourself. Also with FME, for, for a while, we've had the PDF writer. So it allows us to style PDFs in a, in a basic structure. So you can set up the PDF styler, then the page formatter, where you can set where the header is going to be, where the text is going to be, where any imagery is going to be, and spit and spit the information out. So again, that's been we've been using that for a while. It's a very nice output. But some of the big innovations now in 2018, after a lot of uh, requ requests from our customer base, is support for other parts of the Office suite. So now we've got the ability to style and output data to Microsoft PowerPoint so into a slide. So you can take a map in this case and put it onto the slide. And that's done using the PowerPoint styler. So in the PowerPoint styler, you can specify how you want to lay out the style, where you're going to put the text, where you're going to put the imagery, and spit it into the file. And then that all goes out into a presentation file. So really, really useful if you're building reports, being able to take out on the first page, you know, a header and a report summary or an image, and then more detailed information then as you break down through the slides. And also, again, driven by user requirements and, and demand, is now the support for reporting into Microsoft Word. So being able to style now, put your data to Microsoft Word pages. 
the way the, and what I'm going to show you now is how we actually do this. So we can actually build a word report. And this little that demo I'm going to show, we're going to connect to the IMGS Salesforce system. Uh, don't worry, you won't be seeing any of your own uh, cases. We're going to use a made up account, so it's an ACME account. We're then going to join that information into a different, from the different Salesforce entities from the account and from the case command. And then write that data out to show for every case in every account and spit it out to a Word document. So I'm just going to jump out of my PowerPoint here. And uh, then you'll see something like this, which is the Salesforce report in a Word document. So we're going to combine the web connector and the reporting into one, one option. So if I jump out and jump into my f and &E, you can see I have my little report here all set up already. So what we have is on the side, we have our input. So we've got two connect Salesforce connectors. So we have the first connector, and you can see it's a name connector. It stores the care and care connection. So one of the really useful things with the new connector is it won't ask me to enter in my web details for Salesforce every time. Once I create the web connector, it remembers that, knows the tokens I'm going to use to get into Salesforce. Once I've given it the username and password, once I've logged on once, then it remember all them details and automatically log me in every time I run. So I have two Salesforce connectors here. One is bringing in the, in this case, it's going to show you the SQL statement or the sole SQL statement. You can see it's select case number, account ID, last public comment from account where is equal to the passed in parameter name. And if you look over here at the published parameters, you see I have my username, which is going to be used for my connection to Salesforce. I've got my Word document that I'm going to write out to, which is in the Word files here. And then I've got an image which I'm going to throw into the Word document. And then the name is the company I want to report on. And in this case, it's Acme Company Limited. So it's going to go to Salesforce and only take the cases from that company. And then here I get the company details from the account. So I've actually got in this so uh, SOQL statement. Same idea, but this case I'm getting the name of the account, for a name and ID from the account, and joining them together. Okay, so we have our little report. So I can show you an example of the report we created. So if I go to my workspaces, I've got my image. So I've got my little IMGS image, which I'm going to bring in, and then I've got my result, which is my save, my Word document. So if I open up that document. You can see at the minute it has three cases in it from the last time it was run, and or four cases, sorry, and it was run earlier on today. So then if I launch into Salesforce, and you can see we have a header, we've got a banner, we've got our table, which will take every record for that account, and then it takes out each of the values from the database. And we've got a few jokes in there as well. So what do you call a map guide to Alcatraz, a contour map? Oh my goodness. Um, so we'll leave them where they are. So then if I go into Salesforce, now my internet connection has just decided to be a bit slow. So let me just try that again. So I go into Salesforce, I log in, just to show this is a real live demo. And we go into Salesforce, and I can go into the Acme company. So in there, in Salesforce, actually at this stage, we've only got three cases. So that last four was when I had a second ago. So if I just, just to show you it is dynamic, if I quickly run the report, I have to close the Word document because I can't overwrite it when it's open, and get rid of my little reminder there, and I'm going to run the report. So in FME, hit the workspace, ask me to confirm my published parameters. I'm going to stick with Acme, and out we go. And we get success. Now I'm going to show you in a second what's happening in that report. But just to see, just to show you it is live. So there's the, the report and it's successful. And if I open the report up again, you'll see now I'm back to having three records. So we went to Salesforce, queried the system, and took the data down. And again, just to show you that it is real live stuff we're doing here. I'm actually going to create a new case in Salesforce. And it's Acme Company, 
case origin is phone, type is how to, and subject is FME is great, why not? And description is word to say it's horse. And internally, the internal comment and the public comment, because I use that in my report, is who knew? Okay. And I'm going to save that record. So I've created a new case in Salesforce. It's automatically been created. It's on the 28th and 9th, and we're in the system. So now I'm going to have a quick look at my little report here. So we've got, we're going to query Salesforce with these two connectors. Then we're going to use the feature merger to bring the account cases, user and cases data together. So you can see that. So we see we're marging up on the account IDs. And then we've got a sort, we've got two things. So now we can see our word styler. So first off, we can see that up here, I'm going to have the header. So in it, I'm just going to say this is the top of the document and it's an image. And it's taking the image parameter, which I have over here on the publish parameter, as the file. So it's going to take that image, center it, and have the width of 50 inside my little Word document. Now, the one thing you do have to worry about with building these little Word files is you do need to do the order of which you want the report to run. So the header is first, the, the, then the image, the header. So here's my header. It's a heading type. It says first cases, and heading level is title. Then I have a Word styler. And in here, I'm actually taking every case, and I'm going to create a table. So I'm actually taking each of the rows, taking the case number, the account, the origin, subject, and description. I'm going to say stretch it, you know, which way do I want the width, what field do I want out of the values I've taken out, which value do I want to use. There's a Facebook logging in beside me. And then I've got face comments all coming out, okay? So you can see how we're building a nice little repeatable table there, taking every value out. And then finally, we're going to have some custom text. So at the bottom, if I hit the prop button on that, you can see total value of value case count. So total value of records, document created by Kieran Kirk, date time format, and it's property of INGS. Okay. So now, last time I ran this, I just ran it with straight run. But actually, if I go to the run menu now, you can see we have a new feature that's in 2018, which is really, really useful, particularly when you're working with web data. So I'm going to run this this time with feature caching, and you're going to see a little change in what happens. So we've now closed our Word document. We've checked our, our, our input. We're going to take the data from Salesforce. We should have an extra record in there now. We're going to write it out and merge it up into one document. And that document is our little Word document that we, we finalized. And it's going to be saved here to the desk destination file. Okay, just to show you that parameter. Okay, so I'm going to hit the button. Again, promise me for my user parameters. I'm happy with them. And away we go. So now it's creating the document. It takes a second just to connect to Salesforce, and, our, and my Wi Fi is acting a bit slow today, so it's taking a little bit longer. Is executing the SOAK SQL query. While I'm here, you can also notice, the see what another feature of 2018 FME is the ability to filter out your, lo your, your logging. So we have errors. If we want to see any errors, so I have no errors in this script. Any warnings that I'm given, errors, or just the full report. Again, anyone who's been using FME for a few years now, sometimes when you're just reading through this big, long, log file, it can be really cumbersome to try and find out, well, where did the thing go wrong? But now you can just click on error and it'll filter to the errors. And I've none in this case. So now I go back to my output. You'll see my Salesforce document has been updated, my report. I double click and open she up. And now we've got the three we had before, but now we've got our new case. FME is great, Word is this for us, who knew, and dynamically connected to the web, got the data, built our Word document, and built a report. And you can see, and again, we're formatting a nice bit of text here. We're building a table. It's nicely styled. We can put imagery in. So you can really build any kind of 
reporting you want. You could take text map, like we could have put, put a map into the image. We could use the map like rasterizer to create a map image and stick it into the file. We can build multiple reports and gra graphs and charts and build some very, very use, useful analytics. And of course, at the minute, we're sticking that file into a, a, pa into a, a drive, local drive here. We could have published it up to something like Amazon or into a bucket, into Dropbox or whatever way we want to put that file. But actually, in this case, we're just going to push it out. So you can see how easy it is to build that kind of report in Word uh, using FME. So for a while now, though, we have had this kind of functionality in HTML report generator, so where you can build these kind of nice reports with a dynamic map. So we have the HTML report generator and layouter, which allows you to create the interface. To, you can set up the, the the report, what you want to have, and it has some very nice graphs and charts in there that you can use to actually build your report. And then you can divide up the sheet and you can put in dynamic maps. And all this, like with the Word report, can be done without any coding. Also, with 2018, we've, we've had the Tableau writer for a while, but actually, and power, but actually with 2018 now, there is full support for ClickView. So again, you can write the data out to a ClickView file so that you can take, do all the merging API with FME and then push that out into ClickView. Very, very easy to use. And of course, all this reporting functionality can be automated with FME Server. So again, I could have published that report to Server, took the information from the cloud in, in Salesforce, and created the, the report. So this is a very quick webinar today. Um, but in summary, um, we, what you can see is we can connect the data from the web with the connector transformers. But then we can build data reports, which can be very fun, such as PowerPoint, Word, Excel, HTML, and ClickView. Um, I'm just going to check with Tanya. Have we any questions? I forgot to say that make they put questions in the panel. So if you are looking to ask any questions, we have got a wee bit of time. So you can, in the panel of your uh, go to webinar, you can actually type in any questions you may have for us. But yeah. Um, so, Tanya, any questions? Yeah, we have one there. Is this an add on? Um, so, for that um, so th the question was is any of this functionality an add on with the. No, this um, writing to Word and all this reporting is in the very. Um, Entry level version of FME. So if you're if you're buying FME professional from FME professional up, you can do all the functionality we're looking at. The all the Power Word, Excel, ClickView, Tableaus, they're all in that base version. So it's not an add-on. No. Any other questions? Yeah. Um. So uh, we do have there are there is another webinar I think online which does show the HTML reporting. So if you are interested in seeing that, do go online and you can see it. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to keep it quick and short today. Um, we yeah. to show you. So we'll, be, we'll issue you with the, um, the presentation and the slide deck and everything can be issued later and you can use it. I hope you enjoyed the webinar. Thank Mark and Tanya for their help today and I hope you have a good day and hope you stay safe in the, in the bad weather out there. Thank you.